Hello, Generals, part three of Conflict of Nations, the Chad series. And so I uh, just logged in for the morning, wasn't able to log in last night, was uh, not home, wanted to uh, check through the events. Uh, we've engaged in East Southern America. Our spies are doing work on the Philippines for launching missiles. We're still advancing over in Pakistan. We've got some units built some upgrades so it's looking good not a lot of red uh, I dig it when we log in there's not a lot of red let's see did we eliminate anything uh, we eliminated the 57th armored battalion we eliminated some troops our fighter wing eliminated an infantry a random one I like to get that for extra points insurgents eliminated an armored battalion so, okay, so it's good. No surprise when we come in. Let's look at our builds. Uh, we're at the state in the game where you can tell where we've got a lot of team progress. And so this is really just map cleanup. And I'm going to show you that as well as just producing and boosting production to make sure that we stay uh, way ahead of the game, right? So I do need to get some more infantry and I'm low on supplies because I've done a lot of markets and a lot of, I mean, a lot of arms industries and a lot of local industries. So if you look like here, one thing that I do is I go into all these guys and I make these boost production. And so there are three here. It's a three there that just started, right? Um, I go in here, there's a three that just started. There's a three that just started. So that's why I'm low is because all of these guys are, are basically boosting right now. So um, I don't have much of a threat of these being taken because the way the map looks in Europe, we own Europe, right? So these are kind of insulated. The only thing that would be somebody who come in from this side and take all these lands, but by then I'll have gotten these troops out and about. I've got a missile defense in because the Philippines is acting a fool and launching up some military stuff. So I'm guarding down here, the main cities for this guy. One got hit here, so he's kind of rebuilding and, and his damage stuff down there. Um, I do believe uh, Stockholm got hit too. Yep, so their nuclear wiped out like all of his buildings, but that's okay. We are in the process of coming down here and, and cleaning up. So I was taking these guys, these fighters, and just attacking these random guys like this um, because he's almost dead, right? So I'm just kind of going through and getting some extra, extra fighting points down here. Uh, we are marching through here um, at a very fast pace and taking... I mean, just about everything. So I'm going to leave a guy here and then I'm going to, um, I'm going to probably come down. Yeah. Let's, let's bring him. I don't know that I want to go right in there. Let's, let's land him here, get him on a, on a flight and push him out. I think I had an airport. I didn't. That's Sweden. Um, so let's get these guys going this way. And I don't want to go across the, the ocean so I'm gonna take the long way and kind of just come straight through here let's go to Mandalay Bay my favorite place to gamble in Vegas um, these guys are coming this guy here so let's go down and take this and hope that no rogues come in before I can get back in an hour and 40 minutes we'll take this last property it's a rogue anyway so that's fine but we're getting these last provinces from Pakistan knocked out what you're trying to do is knock out a, a, an entire country at a time and the reason why you do that is simply because um, you'll no longer be at war with them. I don't know why his guy stopped here, right short of taking that province. But we are going to then, I guess we're going to aggro um, this next land here. Let's come across there. And Japan's kind of gone a little AFK-ish. -ish. Um, so let's go down here and sweep around this city. Go down here. I was kind of setting these guys on a long run because I can set them and forget them and fill in all these greens. What we we'll probably end up doing is uh, we keep building air places like further and further up so you can fly all these units that are way out here in the back up there. But I'm going to take this guy up and start looking at cleaning these lands up in case my dude is uh, sleeping on the job up here, right? So we'll come up here and then we'll go to there. And then we'll go to there and just basically fill in all these random places. So uh, to there, Who's that? Sweden left that as well. So, and then what we want to do is we want to take these guys forward. And so what we'll do is we'll waypoint them. And just in case this guy doesn't catch this area down here, I want to make sure that that gets filled in. And then I'm going to move these guys 
um, all the way into Mandalay Bay as well. Um, I don't think uh, Myanmar is going to be that the populated, and if so, by then. So let's pull the AWACS, and we'll patrol um, close here on this city. Uh, that'll give us a view of this pretty big area. We're also going to take, and I think this needs upgraded, so um, we're going to... Mm, mm, that'll be the next thing we upgrade then. We're going to upgrade our AWACS all the way to be able to catch and viz and stealth and all that good jazz. So let's see, do we have any troops that are left in the back? And we do. These countries stopped smoking last night as well. The morale looks good. We are going to push them to Mandalay Bay as well. Let me see. I think I have some more troops, yep, in here. But I'm going to take these guys this direction because I'm landing here. Um, and Turkey is going to probably whoop me there, but his troops are pretty hurt. 39. Yeah, so we're going to lose that guy, no problem. But Turkey's unable to produce any more troops because we've taken it, so all of his homelands are gone. I don't think these converted any of these cities. So let's see, like that's occupied, that's rogue. Yeah, rogue, rogue, um, occupied. So he's not building troops occupied by rogues and occupied by Turkey. So Turkey's pretty much done over here. Um, we're going to land some troops there, build a place for um, them to fly across and make it easy to access. So when we start taking South America, we can fly troops right into the edge here and spread out to these countries. Because if we look at the, um, the next biggest um, coalition that we need to be worried about, um, I'm not too worried about Mexico, right? They're at 460 out of 2960, um, 2, 2, and 1. There's really not a lot of active players left. It's just at the point of the game, 32 days, and I'd like to be finished by day 50. I think that's possible. Uh, we are going to be going into Philippines and, and taking care of them, but you can tell he's bombing in here. They've got a ballistic sub somewhere out in the ocean firing stuff, but because we're hammering his cities, um, he's unable to produce any more, so he's only going to have what he has on hand and I have units in here sabotaging so it's a great strategy when you've actually um, got enough money to do that is to be able to put sabotages and, and some intelligence because what you're trying to do is get into your intelligence menu here and, and make sure that you see any reports and there's no reports because he's not sending messages he's not trading none of that stuff um, so when you come in here and look and you've got intelligence on there and there's nothing in this menu uh, you know the game's pretty much unlocked so so anyway, um, great to do. And then so we are up here taking these tall, this taller area as well. Um, I actually lost a unit up here, it looks like, because I had a guy that was taking some of these countries. But he's, you know, Sweden, I mean, um, Ukraine, sorry, is, is sending it on this long. I love that. But we need to get back over here because the Philippines um, understands that Japan is like AFK and not moving. And so we are going to come back because this is a homeland for Russia. But these are just occupied, so he's not building out here either. And because they're all smoking, he's recently taken those. But once his capital is gone here, um, we're gonna the morale goes down and it goes to rogue, or someone comes in and just takes that particular uh, city. Then his further out cities will go into lower morale, and these will all turn to rogue and make it easier for us to get into. So, uh, and eventually, once this is taken, we'll be at the Philippines anyway. Uh, Indonesia is one that we probably need to go after as well. So I think we've got all of our units out. Um, I'm going to take these guys, though, and um, some of these, some of these big boys here that can attack a little bit higher. And I'm also going to move them into this city down here as well. So I just want to take that city and build that airport, and then be able to fly folks right in there. Um, let's see. I can probably build. I've got a lot of. Um, electronics and I've got a lot of this let's make sure there's nothing else on the market to buy and there's not I usually try to keep this clean so that other countries cannot purchase any supplies if they do have some money I know that's kind of a ruthless tactic but that's just the way life is so uh, we'll go in here we'll build some more of these guys because we've got plenty of electronics and plenty of components right so we're gonna come in and anywhere that can build um, another armored fighting vehicle now the reason i like armored fighting vehicles i know some people will give me a lot of hard time about it is because they can defend against air so if you get like five of these in a stack if you run into some air stuff and you don't have a sam or an aa or something close by 
Um, people will think twice about hitting them because they do defend pretty well, and they attack troops at an 11. So it's just good. And they get a lot of positive attack and defense modifiers on these different terrain types, right? So anywhere you're at, you're getting a positive attack and defense. Um, let's say that you have a plus 25 here, um, and it's in urban, right? So when you get to cities and and, and you go through at 25% on, on 11, you're going to be hitting at almost a 14 um, which is devastating because if you got five of these in a stack, you're taking out four or five infantry every every round, right? So um, just a huge, huge benefit. And if you get five of them in a stack, they take out a plane every round. So if someone tries to has a random two or three jets or something like that, they're not going to be able to attack your stack. So just a little bit of defense there for for using the components and the extra electronics. You might as well build them out because I can't build any troops right now as I'm as I'm uh, repositioning on the map. So no big deal. We're just going to go ahead and start these because they kick some booty tail and get them going. There we go. So I can build one more. And then, of course, what you'll see is over the day um, in a 24 hour period, it's going to be 24 times 662, right? So I get 662 of these an hour. Um, it's going to be another big fat stack of these probably 12,000 more components like tomorrow, a little bit more than that 25,000. And, and you'll end up being able to build another round of these because my electronics are, are so high. And that comes from um, grabbing extra towns, from building arms industries, local industries, all that stuff. Like as soon as you can afford to pump some of those out, you should. When my capital went down, it's a, it's a supplies one right here. When this went down, my production got cut in half. And so this was down to like 350 once I got nuked on my capital. But um, now that it's it's rebuilding and I'm at a two right here, when this arms industry gets back to a five, this production will be so high that I won't struggle with any production, even though the game is pretty much set, right? So anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed the update, learned why I do certain things that I do inside of the game, because it's all about winning and it's all about collecting VPs. And if you look on here at the top players, um, I'm at 1556, even though I have 16 less cities than Sweden, my VPs stay high because I do go through. Now, people always give me a hard time. I'm going to show you what I mean by um, by border gore, right? Like if you get up into here, it doesn't matter. Like you don't do it by territories. You go in and you take it all as soon as possible. So that when you get over to here, this is a sprint, right? Like there's no polite way of doing this. Like this is a war and you're out to get VPs. And so I tell everybody on my team, do not worry about what city and claim stuff and try to slow people down. Go in there and knock the opponent out. Go in there, take their cities, go right for their cities, and then go back and clean up all the VPs later. You can send a random two or three stack to get through all of the VPs without losing any more additional units because you're going to fight if it's an AFK country. You're going to fight the fact that the... Um, um, the computer's going to disperse all the units to random provinces, so you never want to send less than a two or a three stack out there to, to go, because or else you're going to lose a random one to some unit that's sitting out here in the middle of nowhere that you just don't see on the radar, right? So so when it comes to that, man, don't believe the hype and, and go, oh, border core, border core. Like, I hear that so much on there. Um, let me see. I know I had another AWAC somebody, somewhere. Yeah, here's one. Um, so I don't see anything out there. That's fine. I'm going to um, patrol up into here so that nobody can see my plane, right? Like, uh, where is it at here? I think I hit the wrong. Yeah, he's flying over here, and I've got another AWACS here. I bet, can I reach out into here? And I can, right? So let's let's patrol right there. I don't think they have any air units, um, Philippines, and so because it's going to come out of this airport, wherever it was at right here, um, it's going to be able to reach and show us what's out here in this in this area, right? What happens, I'll push these guys, these AWACs that are going to be in this area, I'll push them further as we take more of the map. So anyway, I hope you guys are doing well. Have a great day. See you.